Hello everyone, Horseman here, and this video is going to be all about Soldier 76 Replica Mask unboxing that I just got today. It's from G-Masking, who also made that Reaper Mask that you see right there. I just got it today, and I'm very excited to open it up and, and share with you all the unboxing experience, so you can actually consider this my video review as well. Okay, so the first thing to note is the quality of the box and the packaging that it came in. This is very important, especially considering that it came all the way from China. And originally, I had an de estimated delivery date of June 19th to July 11th. So the fact that I got this so much earlier is quite nice. Again, I did get this from G-Masking, and they are the people who made... The Reaper mask that I also got here. I got it a little while ago, and you can see the video unboxing that I did a while back um, on my channel as well. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the unboxing. So, watch me struggle. All right, nice. So, there's a box within a box. Which is not too bad. A little extra packaging there. Not too bad. All right, here we go. Okay. So aside from the bubble wrap, it doesn't look like there was any other cushion that was in there. But it definitely feels solid. It definitely wasn't going anywhere. So there's unless it just got flat out crushed, I don't feel that there was really any worry about this rattling around or possibly breaking off any pieces. So impressive packaging so let me just go ahead and get this off real quick so far so good okay so finally I'm getting to the meat and potatoes here and that's not necessarily a complaint you know good packaging definitely means for a good product upon delivery so I'm very happy with that so just getting that first feel on the the mask it's definitely made out of a great material Looking at it here, you can see an outstanding paint job. Um, in person, it the mask looks a lot lighter than what you're seeing here. I mean, in this video, I mean, it looks very, very dark, but it's not necessarily that dark uh, in person. So I was just pushing the light switch there, and it's not working right now. And there's a good reason, because there's no battery in it just yet. You know, in this mask, you see that there are some ventilation holes. Uh, you see that smooth surface with that matte kind of blue look to it. On the side there, or on the back side here, you see the, the strap as well as those foam pieces that go on your temple, which is great. Got some good detail on the sides there. You know, overall, I'm very pleased with the product that I see here. I mean, it's not going to be super bendable. Here, I'm just looking at the wiring. See how that kind of all works? Those foam pieces are on there pretty good, so they're not coming off anytime soon. And uh, the battery goes right there, so I'll need to find one. Run there, I did find one small imperfection, which is definitely nothing to mark down about. Aside from that, I don't see any dings, nicks, or otherwise, so I'm very pleased. Okay, so now it's time to try it on. Okay, so here I am here now trying it on my fat head, and it's not too shabby, fits pretty well. The foam parts there on the temples give it some extra comfort, and I will say that it fits well underneath the chin, and it fits pretty well up there as well. Um, breathing was a little bit on the hard side. Um, long term, I think that it would cause some problems because it did do some fogging. But uh, otherwise, it wasn't too terribly bad. I think with some proper ventilation, I think it'd be okay. I think this will fit a lot better after I lose another 39 pounds. Overall, I am very satisfied with this product. And lo and behold, there was a battery inside the bag that I had missed, but not before I put in my own. Um, I had put in a CR2025, but uh, it did come with a 2032. And uh, it lights up well. I think it looks very, very good there. Um, 
One thing I did notice, and you don't see in this video, is that I did try it on with the light on, and the light did not shine into my eyes. There was not this this glow that I could see, so it, it did not impede my vision at all, which is great. Um, there are some minor flaws with uh, the actual light tube there, but, I mean, again, nothing that is so noticeable or so crazy that it's going to make me say, ooh, this is a terrible product, because it's really not. Um, this product is made very well, made with great uh, materials. The paint job is superb. Um, I'd say my only real complaint here, and this is probably not anything that, that the maker can do, is just the ability to get it to not fog up, you know, uh, when you're breathing in there. So you kind of don't want to breathe too heavy at all. And, uh, and because of how tightly it fits there, it comes right back on your face and up your, up your eyes. So other than that, fantastic. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch it. I do highly recommend this product if you're looking for a good Soldier 76 replica mask, and I will be putting the link to the location on Amazon in the comment section below, and I'll be posting my review of this product. Now again, I'm trying to give G Masking some good props uh, because they did a fantastic job and for not that much cost. So again, thanks for watching. Until next time, Horseman out.